About a week and a half ago, Corky told me that there's this car up at RTM Productions, uh, notorious for the power block, that we need to go get and get ready for the Driven Dirty Tour that's sponsored by Posey's. Now that tour is a, a drive that typically starts in the northeast and uh, about a week and a half drive to the, the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And it's growing, I think this year they're probably going to have about 15 different people, but the concept of that is, is to be Driven Dirty, you show up and and uh, display your car without even cleaning it off. So, you know, if these guys get rain or, or anything, they're going to have dirt and water spots on it. And that's, that's just part of the deal that, that they're not scared to drive their cars and, and to enjoy them, which is, you know, to guys like us, this is what it's about, enjoying the car, not just, not just showing it off. Yeah, if you don't drive it, it's not worth building one. Right. I mean, actually, was this a 61 Impala? Mm -hmm. 61 Impala post car with a 409 big block. That muscle car mag muscle car TV built for a TV car, and we're making it road worthy. And it's the red sled off of their TV show. It's got 20s on the front, 22s in the back, four air ride suspension, which we had to do a little modification to get it to clear. The rear end was hitting the body and the frame, so we did some modifications on the rear end to get it to clear. And then Richard under here, he's been working on the interior, trying to get all the other stuff to work. Yeah, there's so much to do on this car that we're not yeah. even going to let him stop working. Yeah. He's got to keep going. Keep going. Keep working. Yeah. But this car is pretty rare. Uh, apparently, there's such a small volume of cars that, that uh, Chevy built like this, and maybe just a few thousand. Uh, you know, a lot of people say that the car doesn't exist. So it's pretty cool to, to have such a rare car. Uh, guys who've been around Apollos their whole life have, have said, well, this is only the second one I've ever seen. Or that doesn't even exist, that type of thing. But yeah, the car, cars might believe it's yeah. a Biscayne, right? Yeah, they're they're saying it's a Biscayne or a or a Bel Air. But we we, we kind of think, or Delton thinks actually, that this car might have been produced in just enough volume to where they they'd uh, they'd pass the NASCAR quantity, whatever that would be. So they built just enough cars to where they could they could race it in stock car racing. But uh, you want to pop the hood? And then when it goes into the. This is part of the reason why it went with the NASCAR. It's got a big block 409, but it's got the Elderbrock Performer, RPM, top end kit, heads, intake, dual, quad, setup. Hal's been trying to tune up the carburation on it, and uh, it's been fouling the spark plugs. I mean, he only gets a few miles down the road with it before it, uh, uh, before it fouls up the plugs. So he's decided to, to uh, change our carburetors. We got to step it down bit. a little bit. The two, the two, the two 650s are way too large for the motor. It's dumping way too much fuel in it. I mean, it's a pretty clean little car. We've had to pull the, we've had the whole front clip off of it, reworking the inner fenders and reworking the fenders in the front end. The whole, the rear deck lid was taken off and reworked. Yeah, the car looks amazing, and, and they did a lot of work in a short amount of time. But being a media car, being a car built for TV, they cut the corners where they're supposed to, you know, to shave down the amount of time that they actually have to work on it. So, you know, the, the more we, we tear into the car, we see that the headlights are just zip tied into place. Uh, you know, we're just trying to make it to where it's safe and roadworthy. Uh, get them some windows in the car. Uh, he's, he doesn't have any of the guts for the windows. So we've been searching for those really hard. And uh, you can't lock the car, uh, it's just stuff like that. We're trying to get the last bit of details on it. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty strong little car with the, like back with the, the whole look of it with the air ride and the big wheels on it. I mean, it's a pretty strong looking little muscle car. And then once we get the carburetors worked out, it should be putting, I know that motor stock with the carburetors was like 450 horse. So it should be about a 500 horsepower motor whenever everything's said and done with it. Yeah, this thing's pretty awesome. The concept of the car is amazing. Uh, we got the suspension all the way up now. Uh, when, you, when you drop the suspension, it just, it just looks real sinister. It's cool. That's it sitting. Sitting low. Yeah, under. Get a, get a shot of that. <laughs> Now he's got a crick in his back for being so low. Yeah, that's pretty rough. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get you up in the air a little bit. The guys have really done a, an amazing project here. Uh, 
most of the time, from what I can tell on te television shows, they don't strip the car all the way down to, to bare nuts and bolts. But this car obviously has been off the frame. Uh, the frame has been blasted and painted, modified, boxed in, and strengthened. Uh, so they've really pulled out all the stops on this thing to, to build a high quality car. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, the concept's awesome. Got lots of, lots of high dollar performance parts, so we're excited about getting it on the road and, and uh, feeling what the brakes are going to do, feeling what the, what the engine transmission's going to do. It's got the SSBS big brakes. I think it's 13 inch rotors in the front and 11s or 12s in the back. I think they're 11s. 11s yeah. in the back, big rotors, like four piston, oh, well, yeah, four piston calipers in the front on each side, two piston calipers on the rear. It's got a, what, what rear end's in it? The Kurt? Yeah, it's got a, got a Curry rear end in it. It's a, a nine inch rear end. Yeah. I uh, really don't know much about the rear end other than. Other than it's a Ford rear end and a yeah. Chevy. <laughs> and Curry built some good stuff. Yeah. Well, this car is also on a tight time frame, going to SEMA, going to be driven out there in the, in the tour, and he's leaving Tuesday. So it's, uh, it's, it's doable, it's going to be actually relatively easy compared to that, that other car we got, the TD. Uh, this thing here is uh, already uh, the verge of being roadworthy, so at this point on it's just going to be some creature comforts. Uh, Richard, what he's doing right now is putting in the cowl vents to where you can open up and get some fresh air. You know, we got to get us some windows so he, he doesn't get rained on on the inside. And hopefully some door locks so, you know, you can be secure at the hotel rooms at night. But uh, we're almost there, you know. Been really working close. really hard at it. Hal's been working late nights. Uh, Richard been working late nights. And, and uh, myself and Zane been working weekends. Zane's actually done a couple of dent repairs on this thing when it, uh, when it came in on the quarter panel. Uh, some Audis when they were working on the car, it popped some, some dents from the inside out on the trunk. Putting the air ride air pod yeah. system in. So he worked hard coming in on the weekend to paint it so that these guys weren't held up during the week, weekday while they were turning wrenches. So Tuesday, you'll be seeing this thing rolling out of here.